Hi, this is Courtney McGee with Fusion Video. I'm here with Andy Shalal here at the DC Mayoral nomination debate. I'm going to ask you a little bit about your your vision and your focus um, coming into this this term. If you were to be elected, um, can you share a little bit about that? I believe the city has become more and more divided. It's a city of uh, lots of uh, complexity and lots of dichotomy. You see a city that is the wealthiest city in the country. At the same time, we have the highest child poverty rate. We have a city that has the most educated population. At the same time, our schools are rated at the very bottom. We have the highest illiteracy rate, 50 percent for black males in the city, or for black folks actually in general in the city, 50 percent are functionally illiterate. And we have a third of our children, like I said, are going under, under, under poverty. And many of them are dropping out of school, 62 percent are dropping out of schools. So this is not a city that's functional or doing very well, but it's certainly doing well for some. Right. Um, but you, you mentioned during the debate that there was a widening, there was a, it was definitely a gap. There, yes. the, the gap was growing. Yeah. And um, do, you, do you feel that that has, that has to do with the economy sort of impacting just jobs and it's just affecting the families in D.C.? Well, the widening uh, gap is because we don't have a vision that says that the city has to work for everybody. Uh, we cannot go around just letting the city roll as it may, um, you know, selling public property for a penny uh, to a dollar and, uh, and expecting to have different results that are going to serve the public. I mean, the, the job of a city is to make sure that it works for everybody in it. It's not supposed to be a business. It's not, it's not supposed to be a pawn shop. It's supposed to be uh, a, a social contract that takes care of its citizens and its residents. And it, I think we failed in that uh, order. And it's starting to show. It is starting to show in a big way. Um, what do you think is the biggest impact to our school systems and why the behind so many children dropping out before they graduate? high school, not reaching that potential. I think poverty is obviously a, a major factor in how kids get educated. I think the other thing is we made schools into just basically rote learning places, almost like teaching rat labs how to do certain performances. And I think we have to see education as a very dynamic field, it's ever changing, we have to constantly evolve with that change. I think that um, we have to infuse more art and music and other ways to engage our kids other than just sitting them in a desk and drilling them with uh, questions and filling in the bubbles. Um, I do believe that uh, uh, we have to make schools more uh, interesting for our children so they don't drop out. I'd like to see us uh, even lower the voting age uh, to bring it into the high school years so that kids in their last year of high school can make that their civic year and get engaged at all levels spend the year at City Hall and talking in the Wilson Building and making shadowing integrated. exactly and shadowing their council member and making sure that they're accountable and asking them questions tough questions keeping them on their toes <laughs> absolutely and I think young people can do that you know so I think there's many opportunities that we can do to engage our kids and get them to do better in school I think we've just squandered some of those because we, we, we just don't have the vision we're not focused on it um, what would be your biggest investment to the District of Columbia if you were to come in as mayor? Your biggest investment, what would be the most important contribution that you would have during your term? I think there's, there's really many things. It's not just one thing because you really have to approach the, uh, the structural issues that we have in the city uh, on many different fronts. You can't just focus on one thing and leave something else behind. I think I would, I would focus certainly great on the issue of poverty and how to alleviate poverty. Um, issues about uh, how poverty impacts education, how um, housing, for instance, is a huge, huge problem, especially for poor people. We spend a lot of money on housing in this city, but yet we don't really have any permanent support of housing for people that need it, that don't have to go you know, from year to year looking for shelters in order to stay in. So we spend a lot of money there. It's not in a matter of bringing in more resources. It's really a matter to making sure that the resources that are allocated are allocated appropriately to be able to serve the public that they're supposed to serve and not lining the pockets of people that have contracts with the city that end up squandering much of those, uh, much of those uh, 
uh, funds that need to be uh, there to serve the people that they're supposed to serve. So I would focus on many, many different issues all at the same time. Very important, though, I think people need to have a home to live in, need to have food on the table, need to have their kids taken care of, and need to have schools that are functional. And so bringing these are the very arts important. back into the arts programs, back into the school system. Absolutely. I think, I think that's, that's one of the first things to go. It, it is, absolutely. And yet it should be really one of the most important things because when people don't have a lot of hope and a lot of other stimulation, art can have so much of an impact on them. Inspiration. Uh, so uh, inspiration uh, it keeps people alive and connected to their humanity, and that's important. Thank you for speaking with me tonight. This is Fusion Video, and we are out.